Hello, uh, my name's Adrian Shepherd. I'm the head teacher here at St Anne's. The teacher part is rather important to me, so I do very much teach, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, we're going to look at division in Key Stage 2 and what that involves for your children. Um, we start with a focus on language. Um, you'll hear in the Foundation and Key Stage 1 version a real emphasis on the word groups and I'm going to be using the words groups and lots of. They're extremely significant. They're the sorts of words to be using with your children. Um, three methods we're going to look at now, moving on from the number line that you'll have seen at the end of Foundation Key Stage 1. The first of which is chunking and that term lots of groups is really important here. So I'm going to take the calculation 156 uh, divided by 6. Okay, I start with the 156 and I'm looking at how many lots of 6 will fit into this number. I could look at one lot and then another lot and another lot and so on, but by doing so this is going to take an inordinate amount of time. So I'm looking for lots of 6. I know 10 lots of 6, I know that no problem at all. So I am going to uh, record 10 lots of 6 and here so that I don't forget I'm making a note that that's 10 lots 10 times 6. Okay that now leaves me with um, 96. Okay I can see that I can fit in another 10 lots of 6 here so I'm going to repeat that process again. 10 lots of 10 groups of 6 is 60 so I'm going to take that number away and I'm left with 36. Now really important here is my tables knowledge. Um, as a child I should be able to recognise that 6 times 6 is 36 and so I can immediately jump. If I wasn't sure then I might try 2 lots of 6 or 3 lots of 6. Um, but I know that 6 lots of 6 is 36 so that would be the last number that I'd take away which would leave me with uh, 0 where I should be unless there are remainders and we'll come back to that. So now I can count up how many lots of 6 I have fit, I have found that fit into 156. 10 lots, 20 lots, 26 lots. So that's the answer to my calculation. Okay, now the one problem with chunking, as good as it is, is that some children find this quite difficult because of the subtraction involved. Uh, children find addition generally much easier than uh, subtraction. So there is a way of turning this around, um, which I will uh, demonstrate to you now. So we, we can keep that there. We know what the answer is going to be. I'll just show you the beginnings of this. Um, we need a number line here, but so that the children aren't confused, um, we're drawing a vertical rather than a horizontal number line. And here, we're going to start from zero. So we're going to start at the bottom of the number line. I'm going to follow the same process really, but working up and adding rather than subtracting. Okay, so once again, I'm still going to use the knowledge that I have and that language. So I know that I can jump straight to 60, which is 10 lots of 6. Okay, I know that I can jump another 60, taking me to 120. And all the time, I'm heading for that top number of 156. Okay, so this here is another 10 lots of 6. And now I can see the difference between the 120 and 156. In this case, I'll do one jump straight there. But as I said earlier, you might make smaller jumps. And that uh, will take me to 156. That jump of 36 is 6 lots. So once again, 10 lots, 20 lots, 26 lots of 6 fit into 156. And those two methods are the real mainstay of the vast majority of Key Stage 2. This one is used for children who are finding the subtraction uh, difficult. Um, it's chunking that you'll hear about the first method much, much more. In the next section, we'll move on to look at short division, which can then in time move into long division. But we'll also consider remainders and how children should handle those.